guys welcome back to my channel this is china coming to you from that girl china with another dollar tree haul it is a large haul so if you like large hauls stay tuned um if you're not prepared then you can always put it in your watch later list and um you're gonna want to get maybe some snacks and some dr a drink or something and find somewhere cozy to hang out at i am going to be doing four gift bags um, not gift bags three totes and a gift bag giveaway and i'll be announcing that at the end of the video and showing you exactly what i'm going to be drawing for so there's four chances for you to win mother's day themed gifts so if you're interested you need to stay tuned till the end and i'll give you the instructions on how you can enter that contest when i'll be drawing names and when i'll be um, sending out those packages okay so let's dive right in because we've got a lot of ground to cover and i want to make sure we get to the totes because that's the most important part of this video okay so first things first i found this beautiful tumbler um, and it says life is a beach and what i liked about it one is bpa free but check out this beautiful print of all different type of seashells sand dollars and the like and i just think it is so pretty and these you can pack with you you know if you're going on a road trip if you go walking um, if you're planning a trip to the beach um, they're just so beautiful the font is gorgeous love the print it does say um it just calls it a water bottle but i was trying to see if it's dishwasher or microwave safe i doubt that it is um it's probably hand wash um but it's just so pretty and they had so many different varieties this was my favorite of course my favorite um color being blue and my mom loves beach theme and so i'm going to be giving this to her but an up close look at that so here's your um your lid and it snaps shut like this there you go You're, you can even hear that snap so that's a tight seal and um and then again the print look how gorgeous that is really pretty and again there's a lot of variety so if you're not feeling that particular design there's more i picked up more and i will show them in a later video okay um another item that i picked up i'm gonna go into like the toy section and dive into more of the items that i'm donating to the university of texas md anderson cancer center so i picked up these little dolls i'm sure you guys have seen them around but they're starting to come out with more variety on their clothes and um of different um little girls so we have the little blonde one of course um she has a little heart dress and there's even some um can't think of the name of that material but anyway the shoes from what i hear are removable you can take the little shoes off and there may be other doll clothes that you can either make or find so you can switch out their clothes um so here's the little blonde um they also had her in um this uh look here with the little floral dress so we have her um so pretty look at her hair beautiful big brown eyes um so we have her the brunette and then we have another brunette so um this one is a little bit more fair in the skin and again big brown eyes beautiful blue dress with the white daisies and the pink little shoes so they all have very similar outfits they look identical outside of the different skin tones um, but i'm going to be donating these to md anderson so i picked them up now if you are a early um what is it called like an early christmas shopper and you want to start buying stocking stuffers or setting aside gifts for um, the upcoming christmas season um, or you buy ahead for birthdays and stuff, you know, you may um, be on the hunt for these little dolls. I did see if there were more variety. These are just the three that I found. I did see some with different dresses, but outside of that, the dolls look the same. Okay, so another item that I found, which I'm going to be sending to my brother, um, who loves these different shows. I don't know if this is 90s or early 2000s can't recall but i found nickelodeon the wild thornberries season one um so i uh, my brother is um he is 30 wait he's 33 he's 33 um but he is he does have autism and so um he's 
you know, like maybe at a mental level of like a eight year old. Um, and so he likes cartoons. And so this is why I buy him like the Peppa Pig stuff and those type of items. And I send them to him. Um, so I, I was just like, you know, obviously it is on DVD and DVDs are kind of on their way out, but my brother has a very set set of things that he really likes to watch and he's very particular um and so i know that he likes this cartoon i know it came on way back when when he was much younger but i know that he would like this and at a dollar um for a dvd really good deal so i went ahead and picked it up it's for this set and it's the entire season one okay also found the angry beavers um i don't know if you guys remember this show it's also a nickelodeon show um, I do recall this one and again my brother really really liked this and this is season one and two um, let's see does it say how many it's 10 uh, hours of uh, cartoon so yeah he oh 1997 so yeah this is 90s all right so I picked this up I was very surprised to be finding these because I have gone many times and I never find the good ones at the other youtubers haul and then I go when was it yesterday or the day before um and i was like oh my god it was one after the other after the other and all these are for my brother um because i know this is the kind of stuff that he likes the smurfs 2 movie and um again a dollar so a really good deal because a lot of these they're still being sold you know you can get them on amazon um you can get them at like walmart and they're not being sold at a dollar so um, to find these, a really good deal. They had so many more, but it was just like digging and digging and digging. And I didn't want to spend my whole day digging through DVDs and Blu-rays. Um, they also had like, um, what are they called? Um, games um, for the Xbox. So that was something else, but I believe it was Xbox One. And so if you have a kid that has an Xbox One, you may want to head to the Dollar Tree and check it out because a dollar for an Xbox game, um, even if it's a one, it's still a really good deal um, because originally you know what those games cost um, so um, you may want to go check it out okay so I'm um, remember that I told you guys that I kept focusing on um, you know buying girls uh, stuff and not really picking up boy toys it's been a while since I've had to buy boy toys since all my sons are in their 20s um, so I had to kind of take my mind back to when they were little and what they would like and so that's kind of where my mind's been at so I found um, this Hot Wheels. I used to like Hot Wheels. This one's called Buns of Steel. Um, no, it's not what you think. Um, this little, it's HW Legend Burger, and it's a little burger and fries on this little car. So cute. Um, so I picked this one up to be donated. And, you know, so if you're looking for Hot Wheels, they have a huge variety. This is one of five fast foodie collections. So I'm going to be on the lookout for the other ones, but I went ahead and picked this up. And again, it is a burger with some fries. Um, another one that I picked up, this one also is one of five Dino Riders T Rex Troyer. Rex Troyer? Yeah, I think that's right, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this one basically looks like a big dinosaur. So thought this was cute. I know the boys would like this. And so I went ahead and picked this up. And so that will be donated. Okay, now let's move into some other stuff. You know that since I'm buying journals for them and um, notepads for them to write it, gotta buy pens. And yes, I'm gonna buy some regular pens, but I'd rather buy like the really fabulous, adorable pens. So I saw these, um, what um, I believe is a cat with these really cool shades and they're all glittery and the ears are glittery. Came in a large variety of colors. I picked up several and these were at the front um, where all the, well, where the, they were um, toward the front where you go to check out. But of course, there probably might be also in the fun find section. And you know that all the Dollar Trees are different, so yours may have them somewhere else. But I picked them up, you know, because again, um, if you're gonna be writing in a little journal, you might as well write with a cute little pen. It writes with black ink. And so this is a donation item for MD Anderson. But guys, again, if you're putting together, you know, like a birthday gift, a care package, um, you're stocking up for um, Christmas, um, this would be something that would be cute to add in 
for, you know, um, a tween, a teenager, you know, because they start writing in journals at that time or doodling. And um, who doesn't like this cute little adorable pen? And the reflective glasses, he just looks really cool. And these are always much funner to write than with your standard everyday pen. So I went ahead and picked him up. Now I also found this um, tin. Um, it says it's not intended for food. So bear that in mind. And it is a panda theme. So maybe you know someone who likes pandas or who loves pandas. Um, they're so adorable. Um, I don't know if you've seen the videos of them when the um, the keepers are the baby pandas and they're like very hard to take care of because they're very rambunctious um, and very playful. But you could do like, um, if you can't put food in it, I wonder if you could put like wrapped like candy that's in another, you know, it's wrapped in plastic or something. Um, or if you could fill it with like um, rice or little stones or beans or something and use this to hold your makeup brushes um, or um, I don't know. I'm sure you guys can come up with a lot of ideas. Um, I think it's super cute um, and so adorable. And of course, who doesn't like pandas? They're adorable. And so I went ahead and picked this up. Um, this will be donated as well. And since I'm buying, I'm starting to buy pencils also. Um, we're going to need some sharpeners, so I'm starting to pick up sharpeners, but I decided I wanted to pick up cute sharpeners, um, not the average everyday ones. So this sharpener is in a panda um, style, and it says yay on it. He's holding like a little sign, and I found this in the fun find section, so I went ahead and picked several of these up as well. Um, also picked up the stickers 17 pieces so we're staying in with the panda theme um you're getting 17 stickers and they're cupcake pandas and they're just so adorable these also will be donated but look how cute they are i don't know if you guys can see them and they some of them have cherries on top um this one is not a cupcake um, but he's still a cutie i think he's a He's got sprinkles. It seems to be like he's the whipped topping or something. Look how cute that is. And just adorable. So I went ahead and picked it up and that'll be donated as well. Let me put this video on pause because I'm going to be making some room up here and I will be right back. All right, guys, and I'm back. Okay, so another item that I picked up was, uh, and this is a great thing to buy, especially um, at the Dollar Tree because they have such a huge, huge variety, not only in the different prints and styles, um, but in the sizes. I mean, they go all the way down to like 20 something, no less than that, because they have some for very young children to do, maybe like four year olds, all the way up to 500 pieces from what I've seen. So staying with the panda theme, I guess I was um, thinking about pandas when I was in the store. I picked up this puzzle bug um 100 piece and this is great it's a great thing to um it's inexpensive it's something fun that you can get the whole family involved you all you guys can all sit at the you know the kitchen table the breakfast table um and put the puzzle together um or you know you know grandma grandpa you know the summer is coming up you may be sent over to your grandparents house it's something to keep you busy keep the kids busy and you can also um they make good stocking stuffers and also if you're preparing for christmas or you do a lot of donating which is what i'm going to be doing these are great also items to donate to um where um what is it called i know i'm looking for the proper term but where you have children that are being adopted out foster care places um maybe nursing homes um mental health hospitals um and in my case um md anderson for you know adults or children alike or teens um to have something to do while they're there so that's what i'm going to be doing with that now this i found very adorable this is a chameleon um, I just thought it was so cute and just look at his little chameleon feet. Um, I always wanted a pet chameleon. They used to sell them um, at one of these pet stores that was near our house and I would go in there and they were little like this and they're just so adorable and their eyes move in all the different directions and they change colors and they're when they're little they're just so cute. 
Um, but no, we never did get one. And you can see his little feet, how they're made for holding on to the sticks. And so I got this for boy or girl. And this again is a donate item. Same thing, stock up, stocking stuffers. If you have little, um, little boys, little girls that are into reptiles, um, you can start stocking up now. Birthday gifts as a throw in. Um, or donate if you donate to like Toys for Tots or something like that. Also found this stupendous coloring book, 60 sheets, and this is just great for travel. So let's say you're going to a doctor's office, you're going to a place of business, you're gonna bring your child with you, um, a restaurant, a road trip. Um, it's small enough and compact for you to throw in your purse with a little set of crowns, and that way wherever you go, you can keep them busy um, and keep them from being very distracted um, or interrupting whatever it is that you're doing, uh, particularly at restaurants. Cause I mean, I, I've been to some restaurants and there are kids that are like, act, they're like going buck wild in that restaurant. And um, you know, I you always have to kind of, I always look at, I used to look at it differently, but now because of my brother and him being autistic, I always, give them the benefit of the doubt they're not they're not just letting their children run around crazy um unruly uncivilized that there is perhaps maybe um a mental issue there and so now i tend to be a little bit more patient with those kind of situations but that's something that life has taught me through my brother um but again if you have you know kiddos or if you like to color you know this is something you can bring along with you and pick it up and in case you didn't notice there is a panda on the cover there's four other different types um i'm collecting them i already purchased this one with the cheetah which they seem to have a theme going through the store um, but i picked this up for such an occasion that'll be donated okay phone stand found this um it says adjustable angles for use with most smartphones and um, contains two pieces non-slip pads for the holder and guess what it is in a panda theme they also had a llama one and though i love llamas and that whole aesthetic i wasn't feeling the phone stand that they had that was the llama but i did like this panda one so i have this whole um, theme going here and this is to be donated you know because again there's teens and um tweens and maybe you know adults whoever whoever md anderson deems to give it to so this is going to be donated as well but if you have a teen at home or a tween and they want to decorate their you know they like decorating the room with their little accessories like i did when i was a teenager um these look really cute maybe on a, a nightstand and they can set their phone um down and um it's very easy to assemble guys super easy and it's very sturdy from what i hear okay now moving on to um some other items of course i picked up some scarves the makeup is coming up guys i've got some makeup and hair accessories picked up these beautiful scarves by juncture these are to be used um, um again guys you can put them in your hair you know tie it back you know you can do it like across here and tie it back great for the summer tie it on your tote on your beach um bag um, you can use it as a, um, I've seen pe people do a cross like top wrap with it. I would be kind of leery of that cause I feel like it would fall off, but I have seen people that it show, if you look like on YouTube, you can find videos on how to do that, or you can use it as crafting fabric, or of course a standard, a scarf. I'm using it for head scars for those that are in the stages of taking chemo and or radiation therapy and are in the process of hair loss but you've got beautiful vibrant prints i really like this one here with the pink the white and the blue and there's a little bit of teal in here and this one is purple blue and white so i'm trying to give them a lot of variety and my goal is to do a hundred of every type of item coloring books books um pens uh you know scarves um toys so i want to collect a hundred of each type of item and then go down there to donate it okay now let's move into socks you guys know that i'm obsessed with dollar tree socks but for the time being i've banned myself from buying dollar tree socks um because i've ran out of room i don't have like my sock drawer is full and will barely close so that's kind of where the point that i'm at 
So I see them and they're so cute. Um, so I say, okay, you can't buy them for yourself, but you can buy them to donate to um, the hospital or your friends, your family, um, or I put them in gift sets too. So I picked up this double pair, double set here by Juncture, women's sizes five to nine. I really liked the color scheme and pattern. And you have that same color scheme, but in this case you have polka dots. So you're getting two pairs. These will be donated to MD Anderson. I don't know if you guys have ever spent time in the hospital. I have, and the socks are really, I don't know, they feel weird. They're like yellow and they have like um, non-slip stuff on them on both sides and they don't quite fit right. It almost feels like you have the sock on backwards or something. So I'm thinking, um, you know, they could give them socks that are fun, cuter. Um, this one has a little um, Frenchie maybe, uh, Boston Terrier, uh, Pug, I'm not sure what dog this is here. Nonetheless, he's adorable. Um, the different type of dogs that they have on here, sizes five to nine. These are um, no-show socks. And then you get a striped pair here in the back, multicolor or variegated stripe. So I'm gonna donate these as well. And you gotta donate to the boys too. I picked up these two pairs. These are by Universal. They are sizes, um, it says performance ankle, comfort fit for all, universal stretch, quick drying, and sizes six to 12 are the sizes that these come in. And these are single pairs. So I picked these type up, several of these, in the black and the gray, and then the blue, black, and gray. Is this blue? It's showing up purple, I think, on camera, but it's actually a royal blue or a sapphire blue. Um, but here, to me, it looks purple in the camera, but that's not the color. Okay, guys, now let's move into the fun hair accessories. Oh, my God, did they have beautiful hair accessories. So I found this one. It is called Sincerely Jewels by Scunchy. Look at that. And it looks almost like it was dipped in like a different color, like dipped in a gray paint or something like that. Really pretty. And for me, I don't know why, but I am loving this. It has to me like an Asian theme to it or an Asian look. Like I could totally see um, like a beautiful geisha wearing one of these in her hair. I think this is so gorgeous. And so it, I picked it up in gray really good deal this is a name brand y'all it doesn't stop there they also had it in mauve or mauve or mauve i don't know how you pronounce that one or this dusty rose whatever color you want to call it so it came in this color as well and also with this beautiful pattern on here same thing this is by scunchy this is a name brand and then i found this one oh my god this is gorgeous check this one out Imagine your hair put up in a beautiful bun, um, like one of those really cute, messy buns or something of that sort, um, or you're going somewhere. This is pretty enough to put into like a wedding style hair. Um, I think it would even work on that level, but look how beautiful it is. It would up any look. So you have a barrette um, with these rhinestones across, and this is in a gold. So it's in a gold finish, and again, Scunchy being the brand. And then I found these. Okay, they had a lot. And I have more and I'll have to show them to you in another video because there was just so many. These are extra long um, hair barrettes and they are, um, look at this, you have that tortoise shell, there's some gold and then black. This one's black. There's a little gold divider here and then the white. Now this is what the back looks like. I don't know if you guys remember this kind where you squeeze and it comes up and then um, you set it back in the same way you just kind of push it in there but that's the styling of the back so I'm gonna show you again so you can kind of see how that works and then the front and it's by that same collection this this collection seems to be coming in quite a bit now um, I'd never seen it in the Dollar Tree before and that gold band in the middle is glittery or shimmery I don't know if you can see that on camera um, but yeah really pretty and it's very extra large and I think that would be great especially like if you want to put it like up the side or something like that and maybe flip your hair to one end um I think that would make for a really pretty look okay I also found these new nails um that LA Colors has been coming out with they come in this package and they're in an ombre effect I'm actually wearing 
that type of nail. Now it actually comes in this oval shape. So this one is like a purple leading into a dusty rose color pink. So it comes in an oval shape. Now I don't happen to like that shape. So what I do is I buy these and then I cut them and then I um, file them down into a squoval or, or square round as it's called. So that's um, why mine are a little bit different as you can see them on my hand but it's from the exact same collection they have a huge variety but i saw these these were new you have a lavender with that dusty rose thought it was a really pretty color and you can keep them like this or you can change the shape by simply cutting them down and filing them you're getting 12 so you're getting two extra for um fitting and at a dollar to have your nails done and look like you went to the um, nail salon is a always a great deal. You're saving yourself like $45, $50, $35. It really depends on where you guys go. Okay, let me put the video on pause real quick. I'll be right back. Gonna make some more space. Okay, guys, and I'm back. All right, um, LA Colors. Um, I, this is new to the store as well, and you can see where it says new here at the top finishing powder so what it says is set your makeup in place with this finishing powder for a shine free long lasting and smooth appearance um does it come with a i don't see where it comes with like a little poof um it may be in there i don't see it um but you can always use you know like your little you know you, you can use your little brushes or whatever um or your own little poofs that you get um but they had it in a variety of shades um, surprisingly because usually they only have like one shade and that's it so I picked it up in medium but I saw medium fair and darker shades as well and so if you're looking for a setting powder a finishing powder you definitely want to run to the Dollar Tree I've visited like four different Dollar Trees this um, over the past few days and I saw it in every single store that I visited okay now we're coming to um, we're slowly approaching the Mother's Day giveaway. So if you're still here, um, so happy guys, because you're gonna be, it's worth the wait, trust me. You're gonna be super excited. Okay, now remember, if you've been watching my videos, that I, I showed you this Hallmark card that is a Mother's Day card from the dog. So it says, from the dog, here's a Mother's Day hug um, and a reading it from behind and slobbery smooch and then it says something about with a whole lot of love from your favorite pooch okay so basically it's the dog sending mom a mother's day card so i'm like well i didn't see a cat one but certainly they would have a cat one why not well guess what they do it says happy mother's day from the cat you're so good at letting me shed on your clothes rub on your ankles and tickle your nose you're very well trained for a human it's clear i'll nominate you kitty mom of the year and so here's what this one looks like so if you have a cat or a dog in your life and you're planning to or your pet your mom does this would be such a cute idea maybe you could even dip the paw of theirs in like ink and then stamp their paw like that would be their signature that's just an idea there for you guys um but yeah so cute they have a huge variety of mother's day cards and i'll show those to you in my next haul also found this home is where mom is it is a um what is it called like a shadow box beautiful soft yellow frame you have these florals in the background and then that wood paneling um just really pretty and i think would make a great add-in gift for mom another thing that i found was a book called bound to you so if you're into paranormal romance novels this is one of those and it's based on werewolves so if that's what you're into which my mom likes those kind of books like vampires and werewolves um so i'm gonna gift this to her for mother's day hopefully she's not watching this video but um, it's highly reviewed, got a lot of great information here in the back. It originally cost $18 or $17.99, and I got it for a dollar. Okay, now we're getting to the Mother's Day totes. Are you glad that you stayed to the end? I hope you are, because they are super cute. Now let me put the video on pause. I don't want to shake the camera. I'm going to move them into the shot. All right, and here they are. 
So I made three of them. They're exactly identical and the, each of them has the exact same products. So let me put two of these down and I'm going to be doing drawings so you can keep, give it to your mom, your grandmother, you know, your sister, um, you know, a mom that you know in your life that you want to give something to. So I bought these little toads and then I glued on this little gingham ribbon. I thought it would just add some uh, point of interest and I put yellow in here because I kind of wanted to do a bee theme. Now let's start deconstructing it so you guys can see what is in the bag. Okay, so let's do this quickly because this video is running long. Okay, first things first, I included this Mega Last Matte um, Spiked with Rum Lipstick. So this is the color in here. So this is going to um, be included in there. So you're getting a lipstick. And this is by Wet n Wild. And I picked it because the, the, um, the exterior of the little um, container is black and I wanted everything to match. Okay, you're also going to be getting... Um, this uh, liquid eyeshadow, metallic glowing eyes, LA colors. So, and this is in a smoky gray color, like a silver color. So you'll be getting this as well. You're also gonna be getting a sparkly silver polish, a glittery one, and it's called Sparkling Diamond. So this is gonna be included in the set. And we're going to also throw in some eyeshadows. So these LA Colors um, Make a Melt um, Eye Palette, this is going to be included as well. Look at all those shadows and of course the applicator. And I chose it because the packaging is black. So I wanted everything to match. Now this, I'm sure you can figure out why I chose it. It's a Freeman Repairing Honey um, Hair Mask. So of course, what do bees make? Honey. And so I included this as well. This is a name brand, Freeman. I also included a little nail set. So you have a little manicure set. It has its own little carrying case. You get a nail file, nail clippers, and some little uh, tweezers and some little scissors. So that's what's included in there. And I like how it's shimmery. So that's going in there as well. You're also going to get a um, tray or what are they called a trinket tray so the various fruits the lemon um, is in one of them the orange is in the other one and this one has the um, watermelon okay you're gonna get a makeup bag as well this one says beautiful and so um, this is going to be included also again hopefully you can see the lettering and the last thing that is going to be included which I thought was so adorable tying in with the bee theme it says save the bees okay let me get it up close so you guys can see it and it is a pollinator kit learn protect grow and it says it's a cone flower so what exactly is pollination it's one way pollen is spread to help create new seeds which grow into new plants Pollen collected, pollen deposited, seeds developed. So it's a little plant growing kit and it's to help save the bees. And I just thought it's, look how little it is. And it's so adorable. So that is gonna be included. Remember, I have three and I'll tell you here to enter that contest. Okay, now we're coming, now we're coming to the, um, the fourth, the largest gift that I'm giving away. One of the subscribers asked that I make a garden um, gift set. So this garden gift set is also up for grabs. So this is gonna be the last gift drawn. I'm gonna draw those other ones first, the little totes, and then this will go to the last winner. So this is like the mega prize. You have butterflies that are in here, um, faux butterflies that you can stick, they're picks that you can stick. We also have this faux grass, these pansies, um, this little crinkle paper is supposed to represent grass. I also included um, this wreath charm and we have zinnia or zinnia. I don't know how you pronounce that, but those are seeds. You have gloves as well. You have um, these tools. As you can see, you got the tools for um, the garden. And I'm gonna include this uh, little pad for kneeling, the kneeling pad. And on top of that, I found this adorable 
what is called a uh, a little greeting card. Look at that. Doesn't it just all go together? So pretty. So I'll write a personal note to the winner of this gift um, and I'll go ahead and drop this card in there, but I couldn't pass it up because it goes with my theme. So this is going to be the last gift or the largest one that I'll give away. Oh, one more thing I included. You know, after you've done gardening all day, you're going to need to come home and relax. So we've got some uh, cucumber and lemon, anti-aging, brightening, um, little patches eye, under eye strips. So that's in there as well. Okay, guys, that brings this haul to a finito, finished. Okay, so if you want to enter... You have to, what you're going to do is in this video right here, in the comment section, you're going to need to comment um, the heart emoji and mom. Heart emoji and mom. You have to be 18 years of age or older. Um, you have to live in the uh, North America, the United States of America. And you also have to be a subscriber. I will be drawing names on the 30th and um, I will upload, oh no, I'm sorry, you have until the 30th to complete that put the emoji and write the word mom so you starting today you have until the 30th which i believe is friday um to enter the contest doing exactly what i just said comment section heart emoji and the word mom if you don't have uh the heart emoji just write the word heart and then mom um i'll be drawing then on the first i'm going to upload a video um, and I'll be drawing names. If your name is called, I will be sending your gift out the um, early following next week. So maybe around the second, third. Um, if the people do not come forward, um, well, if you don't come forward by like um, the uh, third, no, I'm sorry. If you don't come forward, then we'll do a second drawing. But I can't guarantee that you're going to get it by Mother's Day. And I'll let you guys know when that second drawing will be. Because I don't know how next week is going to look. But for sure, I will be drawing names on the 30th. Remember, a heart emoji and write the word mom. And hopefully what I was saying makes sense to you. Um, remember, I'm a sleep deprived person. So sometimes I'm like rambling. Thank you guys. Oh my God, I cannot believe um, you guys have been so supportive. I think I'm at 200 and something subscribers now, which is for me so awesome because the channel is growing. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback and I just want to give it right back to you guys. Um, and this is why I give out these gifts. I enjoy giving out gifts. I like the hunt, the shopping, but after that, I just want to give it all, give it all the way. Um, I hope to catch you guys at the Dollar Tree. Peace out. Bye.